Hello everybody, this is EY Stream, and today I'm showing you how you can install mods for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, you guys have been seeing me do mods on this channel for a bit, and you guys have been wondering how to install them, so you guys can enjoy them and have fun as well. Now, firstly, you can see you are going to need Android. There is no way around it. You're going to need Android. And you're going to, you can't do this on iOS. There is literally no way you can, and you're going to need some sort of Android device, so phone or tablet and then you can use mods. Now, I'm sorry iOS users, but really, there is literally no other solution. Now, you're going to need Minecraft Pocket Edition, obviously, which you can see on my homepage here. You're going to need block launchers. You can either get the pro version or the free version. So if we come into Play Store here, just search block launcher, and you can see here there's block launcher pro and block launcher. Block launcher, the free version just has ads and a limited amount of mods you can use at once. Block launcher pro is unlimited, so that's why I use block launcher pro. And you're also going to need some sort of file manager, so I use WinZip, but there are a bunch of other ones out there. Then, next, you're going to need the mod you want. So just come into the Chrome browser here, guys. And I've already got a mod up here, the Dragon Mounts mod. Now, I did this on the channel recently, you could say, and it is a really good mod, so you guys can check that out in the description below. Now, what you want to do is just kind of scroll to the bottom, look for the download button, and you just want to click that, and that's going to download the mod. Now if we come to downloads here, we can see it here, Dragon Mount P version 1, created by Wartav, and now it's in a zip file, and that's where WinZip, or your file manager, comes into play. So open up your file manager, you want to come to storage, this is just for WinZip, go to SD card, downloads, you can find it here, go ahead, click it open. So inside here there is a JS script and a texture pack. Now some mods won't have the texture pack, and that makes things 100% easier. 100% easier. Just a lot easier, guys. But um, what you're going to need is the JS script, which is the mod, and then the texture pack obviously adds all the different textures. So if you don't have a texture pack, all you need to do is click the JS script, go ahead and click. So we actually need to come back here to this zip file, click this one, go ahead, click unzip, storage, SD card. Now you can put it wherever you like, but I'm just gonna put it in downloads to make things easy. So unzip here. And now you can see here we've got a folder. And so then you can come into your block launcher, which is basically your central hub for all your mods. Once it loads, you'll find this little wrench icon up the top. You just want to go ahead, click that, go to manage mod PE scripts, then go to import. Then you go local storage, come to downloads, and you can see here that's the folder we created earlier. We open that up, we can find the JS script right here, and we can click that. Now, you can see, failed to import patch, and this is because we haven't done the texture pack yet. Now, if there is no texture pack, this will work fine, you won't get this error message. But if you're wondering why you keep getting this error message, it is because you haven't installed the texture pack just yet. So we're going to click OK, so you can see here, it is disabled currently. So what we're going to need to do is come back here, click the little wrench icon, go to Launcher Options, then come to Texture Pack, get rid of this one. We're going to go Select, Download. Now you can see here when we open up this folder, we can find that texture pack. We just want to click it so it will open up zip files. Now you can see here texture and drag and mount p.zip. Now we go back, make sure the texture pack is turned on, then go back. It's going to reset your game and the mod will now work. So if we come into create a new world, so I can just show you guys that it has worked. We go ahead, open our creative inventory up for you guys. Oh gosh, where in the world is it? We're gonna look for this. Nope, it's not in here. Doesn't want to show us here. Where in the world does the dragon egg stay? I cannot for the life of me find it. Oh, that's why. Sorry guys. One crucial step. Sorry, I just started using Android. I'm a bit confused at what I'm doing, but Come up here, go to Manage Mod Peer Scripts. We still have it disabled, I forgot to enable it. Just click Enable. Bang, it's enabled, it'll now work. That was pretty stupid of me. Let's go ahead, open up this world again. So you can see here, Dragon Mount P by Wartav. Go ahead, open it up. Let's look for that dragon egg now, hopefully. Here it is, bang, put it on the ground. We have our mod, it is installed, it's really cool. So that's how you install mods for Minecraft Pocket Edition. This will work with pretty much any mods. Some mods are a bit more complicated and you need to install sounds and stuff, but usually they'll explain how to do that on the website. And yeah, that's how you install mods. It's not too hard. It takes a bit of time to get used to it, especially if you're an iOS user, but I really do hope help 
I really do hope this tutorial helped you out, guys. And so on. I really do hope this tutorial helped you out, guys. So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And until next time, ew, I stream out. Bye.